Jesus is coming. Pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming. Hosanna. Hosanna. Jesus is coming. Hosanna to the Prince of Peace. To the Philippians. Your attention now. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him. Early hastened to the tomb, where they laid his wrappings All is soft. Wondrous love. Love is God's answer to evil, sin, selfishness, hate, apathy, injustice, oppression. Love is God's answer to illness, self-loathing, guilt, shame. Love is God's answer. The drama of Holy Week is a grand stage where God is on display, unguarded, unprotected, unashamed, unscripted. God is on display, revealing unflinching love. Love is God's answer. Fill the earth with your justice and peace until every heart shall sing and every tongue confess that you are the joy of their desiring. Will you walk with me? observant and when your children ask you what does this observant mean to you you shall say it is the passover sacrifice to the lord for he passed over the houses 
of the Israelites in Egypt, and when he struck down the Egyptians but spared our houses, and the people bowed down and worshipped. Free us, O Lord, free us, O Lord, unmind our hands and hearts. In our Exodus text, it's journeyed. And I was wondering about those Israelites. I'm thinking, what, how were they feeling knowing that they're finally going to get free? Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Judas, his betrayer, was also with them. And when he said to them, I am, they turned away and fell to the ground. So he again asked them, Whom are you looking for? Jesus the Now Simon Peter was standing there keeping warm, and they said to him, One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the one whose ear Peter had cut off, said, Again, Peter denied it, and immediately the cock crowed.
He said to the Jews, chief priest answered, him over to them to be crucified. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Then he said to the disciple,
Jesus said. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. Behold the wood of the cross on which was hung the Savior of the world. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too. I'm sorry, our yay God witness passed away last night. Charlie was 99, and he died on the night of the Lord's resurrection. And it was Charlie who every week when we'd sing that would finish with yay God. So you're going to hear a lot of yay gods tonight, okay? So immersed in the promises of baptism, let us give thanks for what God has done for us. 
we give you thanks, O God. For in the beginning, your voice thundered over the deep, and water became the essence of life. Adam and Eve beheld Eden's verdant rivers. The ark carried your creation through the flood into a new day. Miriam led dancing as your people passed through the sea into freedom's land. In a desert pool, the Ethiopian official entered your boundless baptismal life. Look, here is water. Alle, 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 alleluia. Alle, 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 alleluia. Alle, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Yay, God! At the river, your beloved. Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, If you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. It was when we walked out on the lanai into the backyard for the first time that we knew. We had stepped into paradise. The owners had created the most beautiful garden. Flowers and pots hanging on the fence. Flowering plants and trees and even orchids filled this postage stamp size yard. There's a trellis of grapevines. Banana trees serve as a sound buffer. And on that August afternoon, there was an orange tree with ripe fruit on it ready to pick. The garden had our attention. What immediately follows is the scene where Mary and the disciples are faced with the empty tomb. They make all the logical conclusions His body has been stolen. The disciples simply go home. But Mary Magdalene stays, determined to find the body of Jesus. She wants him back. What follows is one of the most beautiful literary scenes in all of Scripture. John, on the morning of Jesus' resurrection, takes us back to the garden in the creation story. Jesus appears, and she thinks he is is the body-stealing gardener. The irony is, she's right. Even before proclaiming his resurrection, she has, without knowing it, named Jesus as the author of life, the gardener of heaven and earth, the one who steals the bodies of the faithful and raises the dead to life. It is Being a witness to the resurrection of Christ isn't a pass that opens the gates to get us back into paradise. It isn't a stake we put into the ground and hold on to for our own comfort and consolation. No, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a promise that propels us back into the world. Listen again to Mary's proclamation, Mary's witness to the disciples to the world, to you and me on this Easter morning. I have seen the Lord. Being a witness. Today, like Mary Magdalene, we are invited to step into the recreated Garden of Eden with Jesus. The garden and the gardener have been waiting for us. 
We are being invited to see new life sprouting and blooming from what has died and been pruned. We are invited to notice that what seems dead and gone is resurrected and renewed. It is the time we spend in the garden, with the gardener, tending to the garden, where we often find our hearts exclaiming, I have seen the Lord. And then, like Mary Magdalene, we too find ourselves sent into the world to tell the others about Jesus, to invite them to join us in the garden, to meet the gardener. In the reading from Acts today, This morning, I am reflecting on the ways Charlie Crist preached and testified. At 99, he never hesitated to tell us that God is good and loving. He never hesitated to testify to his personal faith in Jesus, the risen Lord. Charlie Crist was a man who knew both the pain of pruning and the joy of watching things spring up anew with green shoots and blooming buds. Charlie recognized the voice of Jesus calling his name. He was a faithful witness to God's redeeming love. Last night, I had the privilege to meet Jesus and Mary and Charlie in the garden. And last night, Charlie was given the honor of dying on the night of our Lord's resurrection. Even in his dying, Charlie was a witness to us. Charlie simply surrendered his last breath in faith and went home to walk with Jesus in the garden. My sisters and brothers, our lives are a witness to the living Jesus. Maybe this week, we can each take some time in a garden, in a park, on the beach, or just in our own backyards, and notice the new life around us, and discover that each of us has a testimony, a witness of a time when we could say, I have seen the Lord. And maybe this week, each of us will simply step out of our gardens and into the world and tell someone, anyone, I have seen the Lord. Happy Easter. Ale, 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 luja, ale, 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 luja, ale, 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 luja, ale, luja.